Maxine here from Sporting Wellbeing and it's Tuesday which means it's Core Fit. So what I'm going to do with you today, if it's alright with you guys out there, I'm going to do some standing sequences whereby we're working up through the core, I want you to be really nice and tall thinking about that posture and then the second part I want to go down onto the floor and we're going to be working ab and back down on the floor with some lovely back stretches and releases to finish. So if anybody's got any tight issues in that back anywhere, around by the bottom, we're gonna be doing a nice release there as well. So as I always say, make sure you're okay to exercise. You've got lots of room around you. You've got some water. You're wearing the appropriate shoes and clothing. And if anybody's got any injuries today or they feel that they don't quite feel ready to do the class today, then have a little look at it first and maybe repeat it later on today if you want to have another go at it. Or just join in and if there's anything that you can't do, then just leave it alone and then come back in and join us when you can. So, a little bit of huff and puff in the warm-up. And go straight into the sound standing sequences after the warm-up. So here we go, here's some music. Squat down. 
still tall. Four of them. Three of them. Two. One. Tap and reach. There. Single arm over. Push. Push. Heel to bum. Squeeze up my sit curl. Tap. Bring it in. Forward. Forward. Side brace up. Two. One more. And reach. Yay, lovely. Come into that side bend. Other side bend. Superb. Come round. So starting with eight kicks, one leg. Posture nice and tall. Stand up really lovely and tall through that spine on that supporting leg. Ready? Here we go. One, two, I'll go this way on. Three, four, hold it there. Push this leg behind. Take out the opposite arm. Pull in through that belly. Now keep those hips pointing down, single together. Stay tall. Last four. Oh, it's wobbly. Last two. Last one. March. Yep. Other side then. Eight kicks. I'll go this way on. Let's go. One. Push. Two, strong from that belly. Four more. Two, one. Lift the leg and hold. Hinge forward from those hips. Take away your opposite arm. Let's go now. Eight is a seven. Four more. Three more, two more, one more, upright, and march. Yay, lovely. So we're going to add on high arms and a wide knee lift each side. So arms up. Let's go. Really tight through the abs. Pull down. Good. Four. Two. One. Excellent. Come down. So that's a little sequence. I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to turn slightly. You stay facing me, we've got the kicks, then the opposite leg and arm, and then those wide knees with that pull down. Are you ready? Let's go. One, push, two, stay up with that lovely elevated chest. Four more. Hold the leg, take that balance hinge forward. Opposite arm and leg, push. Give me another four. Come up, there, side. The leg comes out to the side, the arms come down and over. Four left. Two. One. Other kick. Push. Push. Keep that chest up. Okay. Four of them. Hold the leg. Hinge. Opposite arm and leg. In push. Strong. Keep those shoulders lovely and wide. Head up. Ooh, yeah. Two more. One more. Let's go. There. There. Keep those abs really engaged. 
Number four. Two more. One more. Yay. Take it wide. Keep those feet moving. Take a wide turned up plie. Press down. Press down. Good work. Give me four. Two. Now hold this one down. Turn. Come back. Now notice the hips are staying still. The torso is moving. The hips are still. Four more times. Holding that squat position. Two more. One more. Now three squeezes down. Up. Three squeezes down. Beautiful. Two more. One more. Walk it in. Turn. Here. Move from the top, guys. Ready, go, kick. Chest lifted. Pull in through the bat. Four of them. Three of them. Two of them. One of them lift the knee. Take a pause. Hinge. Opposite arm and leg. There. Keep those shoulders lovely and wide across that back. Four more times. Breathe. Two more. One more. Arms up. There across. There across. Stay with those lovely core. Work it tall. Work it tall. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Plie squat. Plie squat. Keep that chest elevated, keep that head tall. Look on it. Four of them. Three of them. Two. Steady low. Here we go. One side. Keep those hips still. Excellent. Okay. How are we doing? Sun is out. Breathe. Four more. One. Get ready to go on the other side after these next two. Here we go. One more. Walk those toes in. Four, three, two, kick. There. Push back. Four more. Superb. Now this next one, hold it up. You're in a balance. Hinge. Arm. Let's go. Shoulders wide. Belly pulled in. Last four. Shh. Keep that balance. Two more. Come back to me. And go. Cross pull down. This is slow. Two. Good. Squat. Yes. Add some marks. Let's keep it going. Four more. Three more. Two more. Stay down. Hips still. There. Excellent. Now you could use a weight if you wanted to. You can hold it. Last four. Last three. Two more. One more. Use these legs. Go. Three, two, one. Hup. I want you to imagine you're scoring a basketball. Let's score it now. You can jump it if you want. 
So here we in. Little kick across the body. Ease out those legs. Wonderful. You ready for the floor sequence? So go get your mat. Put it down in a space. Are we ready then? So we're going to go down into supine. So you're going to be on your back, knees bent, shoulders down into the floor.
pushing on the floor with your hands. Four of them. Three of them. Two of them. And one of them. Hold it there. Excellent. Hands come up. Heads. And we switch off. Now, if you want to work with feet down, you can. Or otherwise, you're going to pick them up. You choose. Step under the chin. We go. One leg. And back. Second one. Some of you may want to. Do both. Please don't go low if you're doing both. I don't want you to arch that back. Stay with that back in Britain. Last four. One. Two. Three. And four. Brilliant. Come in. Now give that box a little lift up. And a little circle with those legs. We're going to move on to some releases through the back. So this is the first one. Circling around one way. And then circle around the other way. Now bring those toes down. Keep that head down. You're going to take one knee. Followed by the second knee coming across. And then going to work it again. So now I want one knee to lead. Four. Three. Dip the knee across. Two. Chest down. And one. Now put those knees together. Put the feet and ankles together. Roll the knees one way. Arms the other way. Look across. Arms, legs, across, opposite, again. And back. Now give me one leg in, give me one leg out across the floor. Push that heel away, get that stretch to the front of that hip area. Then relax that straight leg. Roll across to your opposite side. Bring the bent leg across. And leave that arm behind you. And get that nice stretch up and over that lower back. And over that bottom. Come in. Switch legs. Go straight leg first. Open up to the front of the hip. Relax that leg. Then come across. Open up around the lower back. knees in, head up, there's the little ball stretch, rock to sit in. Excellent. We're going to do some more stretching here. I want that nice diamond shape of those legs. And if I go sideways, you can see, I want that spine to sit up. Try to avoid that. If you need to, get a cushion and wedge it under your bum cheeks, yeah? To get you sitting up in that lumbar spine. So from here, what I want us to do is I want you to take one arm up, pull up through that lovely deep belly button and come over the top. I put the other arm out and I bend the elbow. Now we're going to sweep forward, draw a half circle with our finger, and then come upright. So the other arm over, elbow comes in, keep that bottom on the floor, hinge forward, draw a half circle, 
then come up with both arms, stretch, keep your bottom down, come around and down, and then come over onto a four point knee lift, so that's hands and knees. Relax your toes, round up that spine, and get that nice open stretch through that back. Take your bottom onto the heels, head down, and stretch. We're going to do one side, arm out, two hands touch, that bottom stays down, we're going to have a lovely stretch across, through that back. Now I haven't got the ring on my side, so I'm going to do switch to the other side. Keep that bottom down. Really important to try and keep that bottom on those heels. Come centre, hands in, toes under. Now lift those knees and go for a little walk. Roll up really slow. Woo! Shoulders come down. So on that nice tall position, tailbone drawing down, crown of the head lifted, reach up. Take a little circle, come into a nice stretch where you're pushing those shoulder blades apart. So you turn the music down. Hold that lovely stretch there. Then I want you to open out, open that chest. Well done. Take a lovely breath in, up onto those toes. As you breathe out, come down, take your little bow, cross those legs, take your little curtsy, and well done. Absolutely brilliant, everybody. Hope you're all fine and everybody's enjoying maybe a little bit of sunshine with a little bit of snow today. Any questions or any comments, just pop them down and I'll get back to you. And take care and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.